Hola! Mabuhay mga ka-dreamers! Welcome to Chrissy at Chon's vlog! How are you? Kumain na ba kayo? It's nice to see you and of course, I hope everyone is fine. Kumain na ba ang mga bata? Yes, kumain na ba kayo at anong ulam nyo? Ako, ang ulam ko ay sardinas. Yes, with indomen. I tried indomen. So I hope everyone is fine. In today's vlog, let's feel na nasa Spain ako ngayon kasi I should be in Spain. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to travel because of the Amber list. I don't want to take risks. I don't want to do plenty of swaps. And I don't want to, of course, quarantine for 10 days. Anyway, that's life. So, my outfit for today, pretending this is my outfit, if I go date with Angelo. As you can see, I'm wearing a skirt, yes, and my blouse is courtesy of my mom, yes, and my bag, yes. I know, Maria and Judy Sipton love this bag, this kind of bag. Anyway, yeah, uh, thank you so much. In today's vlog, I am very happy I have a new friend and subscriber here, here in YouTube. None other than Mama! Lipstick Mama Vlogs! Yes! Mega love shout out to you! Lipstick Mama Vlogs! And regarding this vlog, I'm very happy because I'm going to adapt your vlog. It's something to do with the hypocrites Q&A. Yes! Very nice tagline and title and I'm sure everyone would like to see me answer this vlog so stay tuned and to those who are here please stay and we'll do this vlog Mabuha! Hello! Welcome back to Madam Chrissy at Chong Vlogs and I'm happy that you're all okay and fine I hope everyone is in good health today and as what I said a while ago, let's pretend I'm in Spain and having a date with my special someone with this outfit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to my mom. And of course, my skirt. Thank you so much, Christine, for my skirt. And anyway, well, back to our topic today. It's about the hypocrite Q&A vlog. This vlog is, I will answer 10 questions adapted to the vlog of Mama Lipstick Vlog. Yes, Mama Lipstick or Lipstick Mama Vlog is from Hong Kong and she have around 6.7k subscribers and she did more than 830 videos and I'm very happy we're friends now in YT and hopefully you stay connected and mega love shout out to you my friend and I'm very happy and I'm touched with your blog. Yes. I have 10 questions here that I need to answer so that we'll find out. Yes, and very nice questions. Number one question is, Madam Chrissy, well, it's me. Have you ever blocked someone in Facebook or Instagram? Yes, I did. I blocked someone in Facebook Messenger because he keeps on ringing me like 21 to 25 times a day and he won't give me privacy. I do answer and I always say to him, uh, I will speak to you later or I'm doing, I'm at work or I'm doing editing but he won't consider it. He keeps still ringing so I ended up blogging him but he keeps on coming back and <laughs> use some dummy account to talk to me. However, uh, he's a fan but we need to be careful it could be a hacker but he's on and on about it and I just ended up blocking him because he's so makulet. Number two, do you envy other in YouTube? No, I don't envy other because uh, envy is one of the seven capital sins and it's no good for our aura, it's no good for our performance in YouTube because our only competitor here is ourselves. Yes, we have to make sure we are happy, vlogging, and we're enjoying what we do. And those big channels, they really work hard for it, and they're very happy for what they're doing. So no need to 
become in get or NB. Number three question. Have you ever answered a comment in a rude way? Yes, I did. Yeah, during during time about month of January, wherein I got a basher, and it's actually not only me, but my friends in a rude way told him off. And yeah, if if he's rude, I can be rude as well. I'm also human being, but for me, well, he started it. But I'm a fighter. I fight for my rights, and there's no point of becoming very rude in social media. However, if you see other celebrities, they also fight. But views are views, and we respect others. But if some others are rude, well, I can be rude as well. <laughs> but of course, joke. <laughs> but of course, we have to make sure we edit our words. And yeah, it happened to me. <laughs> I really answered it the rude way. Number four. What is your favorite vlog? Well, my favorite vlog is when I was in... I'm not I'm not yet a vlogger then, but I'm doing a video in Cadiz, Spain, wherein I'm greeting Rabia Mateo, Mabuhay. So it all started there. I'm greeting Rabia, Mabuhay! I keep on, you know, that's my favorite vlog when I was in Spain. I'm so happy when I woke up in the morning thinking and supporting for our candidate in Miss Universe. So I enjoyed that vlog because I'm, I'm wishing her well at the same time. It showed patriotism to our country, the Philippines. Yes. And number five question is, what video you are embarrassed about? Answer is the Silly Sausage Part 1 and Part 2 video. Yes, I did the Silly Sausage video wherein I am buying sausages and I asked the salesman, do you like sausage? And he answered back, sometimes. So based on his answer, I ended up laughing and I thought about it. Oh my God, it's so funny. <laughs> so that's my one of my favorite vlogs or one of the vlogs that really embarrassed me. And I felt, I thought he will be embarrassed, but it's me who become embarrassed. <laughs> Yes. Next, number six question about hypocrite YouTuber Q&A is, have you ever had any problems with other YouTuber? No, I didn't have any problems with other YouTuber because some of them are really helpful. Senior YouTuber, they really support the newbies and they help us grow our channel as well. I didn't have any problems. Number seven question. What would you change about your channel? Me, Madam Chrissy, I wouldn't change anything because it's me. What you see is what you get. I'm really glamorous and I'm really fabulous. I'm also a super chatter and I appreciate the blogs of other creators. And I wouldn't change anything. I love to do live stream and I love to share my talents in tarot reading and I love also to comment on other bloggers and appreciate their good job okay I wouldn't change number eight have you ever inspired by other youtuber or copied other youtuber yes I'm inspired with other youtubers especially the newbies I'm inspired with the blog of lovely Angong yes her thank you vlogs to us and especially to me I appreciated that and it inspired it's inspired me a lot to do more tutorials to share my knowledge and skills here in YouTube and to have a grateful attitude so I love that I'm inspired with that with her with a with her thank you blog and have you co copied other you know I'm planning to copy Bea Alonso on her on her favorite tourist destination where she been I I planning that I plan that I plan to do that about four weeks ago but it never happened. But I wanna copy her, I wanna copy her dress, I wanna copy her her hairstyle. So I would say yes, I copied some of the YouTubers, especially the celebrity. And of course my favorite celebrities, I always copy them and her hair their hairstyle. Yes. We we'll go to number nine question. Have you ever disliked another YouTuber vlog or another YouTuber live stream? Have I? No, I didn't. What I do, I never 
comment, I never dislike, I still watch, but I mute it. Because some bloggers are irritating, some, bad, some blogs are annoying, so I rather not hear it. But I still respect them because I knew how it's how so hard for the watch hours, how so difficult to gain subscribers and to gain the 4K public watch hours. And basically, we have freedom of speech, but just click it, take it off, or you know, uh, just mute it. But I never do a uh, thumbs down. Yeah. Number 10. Number 10 question is, do you have a fake account or do you have a ninja account and you use it for your channel? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I also have a ninja account, but I wouldn't say who is it. Obviously, I use my ninja because after my live stream, basically we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be, you know, going back right away to those who visited us, to our members, to our super chatters. Make sure, leave a space of one to two hours so that at least they can see that it's not a watch to watch and YouTube wouldn't feel that we are obliged to do a play to play like that or watch to watch. It's no good. So at least leave it for a while, for a few hours and then come back. However, fake account would help. But is it a fake account? Basically, if it's an account without any videos at all, it's fake. Well, but I'm not fake. This is the real Madame Chrissy at Sean. Your, your Madame and your, and your live streamer. Yes. Mega love shout out to Philam Country Living, to Patria Zelda from Oriental Mindoro, and to Miss Lovely Angong. Thank you so much for your grateful lovely message to me and of course my super chatters Ellie Tarot, Miss Jasmine Darbala, Goddess 01, Aisha, thank you so much Aisha and of course Miss Christine Fier, thank you so much for your support and of course my ever loyal members, Mam Pichi Aceron, congratulations to your to your live and of course to your free mirror as well and Maria and through the sip tone na binati ko kanina na mahilig sa mga Bugs like this. I know, pareho kami ng taste. Yeah, a bug like this, like a very, very, it's like, you know, this is a vegetable bag. This is a vegetarian bag and, yeah, from m and And of course, to Glenda's Life Journey, thank you so much to all of you. And of course, my favorite blogger, Raul Channel from Qatar, Miss Kitty Katibi, who is now in the Philippines, Lang Natividad, Mami Dolores TV, and of course, my favorite and featured blogger, Khan Nation. This is Madame Chrissy saying, I hope you like my blog about the hypocrite Q&A questions. And of course, mega love shout out to, to Mama, that's it correct, Lipstick Mama Blog there in Hong Kong. Lipstick Mama Blog, thank you so much. You inspired us and you have wonderful blogs. Keep on doing blogs and thank you so much to all of you. And PJ Para, PJ Para, Papa P, PJ Paras TV. Oh, my bakal pa, diba? PJ Paras TV. And of course, someone who is very nice and I'm supporting his channel, Sir Darwin Revuelta. Mabuhay!